Hey everybody, Rich from the Old Net here. Got my Pentium 166 busted out with some DX Ball 2 running on Windows 98. And I want to show off um, how you can use the oldnet.com's HTTP proxy to enhance your gaming experience. So in the main menu of this game, there's options for changing your settings, instructions, all that sort of stuff. But you can see if you hit F9, it'll go to the DX Ball 2 webpage. And I realized, shit, I wrote a service just for that. If I hit F9, it's actually going to go to the DX Ball website. So doing that, it's loading up Netscape Communicator. It's connecting to the oldnet.com uh, through an HTTP proxy, and then it's reaching into the Internet Archive to pull up a web page, probably from I don't know 1998, something like that. And uh, here we are. You can see we're here. Um, graphics, text. The layout, all that sort of stuff, uh, the screenshots, there's downloads to patches, there's some broken images, there's definitely broken links. Um, but I think that's a cool enhancement to like the gaming experience on a Windows 95, Windows 98 box. Now you'll see the, the patches, it'd be nice if they were in the archive, but they're not. So I'm going to see if I can find them somewhere else, backfill them. Uh, that's a whole other uh, effort being worked on is backfilling software. Um, but yeah, I thought that was, that was cool. You know, now we're back in the game, just a little added, little added touch, kind of like, um, I don't know, digital game manual maybe. So I started thinking, as you see me go to Westwood's uh, site, every time I install a Windows 95 CD-ROM game, it typically makes a start menu entry and some of those entries contain links to their website. And, you know, for years of retro gaming up till now, it's always kind of been a bummer that I couldn't actually click those links to go anywhere. You just kind of know to ignore them and move on. But you'll see here, I don't know, I'm going to make up a number 60% of the time. It's going to take you to something. It's going to at least take you to like the, the main landing page. And then from there, if the links or the images or the downloads work, I mean, it's, it's hit or miss. But hey, that's pretty good, I think. So you can see here, we're going to um, lucasarts.com, and it's gonna. Uh, it actually works pretty pretty decently. I've been here many times before. Um, yeah, so I don't know what else to say. Just if you are a retro gamer, and you've got your computer connected to the network, you should definitely get the old net HTTP proxy going. Uh, let's go through the instructions uh, quickly right now. Okay, here I am logging into, uh, it's just a Windows 98 VM I have uh, set up on this computer to make my recording life easier. Uh, but we're going to go set up the proxy, and it's already um, it's already set up on my computer, but that's okay. So yeah, what you want to do is load up whatever browser you use, uh, whatever you prefer. So this is a Windows 98 box, I've got major versions of Netscape installed, Internet Explorer, Mosaic, some other more obscure ones. doesn't really matter as long as they support uh, HTTP proxies, you're good. So in the case of Netscape, um, we're going to go to uh, Advanced and then Proxies and click View. And we're going to type in the oldnet.com for your HTTP proxy. You're going to type in a port of 1996. And very important, in the no proxy list or the domain exception list, you must put in web.archive.org or else images and zip file downloads and stuff like that uh, will not work. And uh, I mean, this site's in a little rough shape, but just like that, you're up and running. Uh, so now that you're on the proxy, uh, if you go to the oldnet.com, it's going to take you to our search engine. And when you do a search, it's going to return websites, but it's also going to return home pages. You'll see here for AOL members choice, there's the Final Frontier homepage. And then for GeoCities, there's, you know, a couple dozen uh, Star Trek homepages. And, you know, some of them link to perfectly fine sites. Some of them don't. So, uh, you know, if one doesn't work, just try the next. But, you know, as you can see, go into an old... Members page, uh, username Trekker121. So there you have it. That's all you need to do to set up the proxy. 
and uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, containing like a text version of the instructions. All right, thanks.